Hello there everyone, uh, this is I am Mark 3 and welcome back to some FTD. I know, gasp shock horror, isn't it? Uh, but inspired by a suggestion by Red the Rage, we are going to be doing something a little bit new. So a new series, yay. And more FTD content, so also yay. Welcome to the Ashes of the Empire campaign for what I am calling FTD Terraphobic. Hmm, terraphobic. Um, Ashes of the Empire. The premise is that you are a junk trader, you are trapped in the middle of everything, and the world is going to hell. Simple enough, right? No. Um, but the suggestion from uh, Red the Rage was do the Ashes of the Empire campaign, but you don't need that. But do it. Um, hang on to land rig for just a moment. Dauntless, we don't need that one. But do it with small aircraft only, because this is Ashes of the Empire. We cannot build big things. We have to do small stuff. So, yeah. Basically, we'll be operating with light flyers. Heck. Um, heck, hence, terraphobic. We are, we have a phobia of the land. We are an entity which has come crashing down out of the sky. It's like, oh god, what is this sticky stuff we're walking on? Ooh, get it off my rocket exhaust ports in my shoes. Can't stand this stuff. And so we don't want to touch it at all. As a result, we're going to have a air-based playthrough. I think my first order of business. Um, I'm not so daft as to get rid of my only defensive option, though according to the game we should have an hour before we get declared on by anyone. So that's an hour of setup time. Hmm. So let's, let's begin with our attempts to make ourselves entirely aerial based. Object new vehicle. Right, we need a replacement for the land rig. Because we've got um, various things. Check this out. Right, stop pile. Growth four per second. Um, growth three per second. And growth three per second. Okay, so we don't need massively powerful mining systems. Let's dip into that one. Where's the new guy? That's the new guy. Hello, new guy. Right, we don't need massively powerful systems. So, what do we need in terms of that? Material gatherer. Uh, doesn't say how much it works with, I don't believe. So, we're going to do something really simple in terms of a resource operation. And that is the. That I'm going to start as I go on and start building a, a small fleet of what I guess you could call UFOs. <laughs> yeah. Except that the um, resource gathering type is going to be a balloon, basically. Just a, a beautiful little balloon. With RTG power source and stuff like that on it. Just, just to make sure that it doesn't actually require fuel, seeing as the existing rigs actually need fuel to operate. So, nothing massively unusual here. Let's give it a four, like that. Uh, oh, I'm missing a point here, aren't I? I need resource storage for these things. Material storage. Give me simple wooden boxes, please. Yeah. Sorry, I'm... I never was comfortable with this, was I? Like, um... How to... How much or how little building I should really do. In this kind of thing. Material 5,500... How's that compared to the land rig? What can the land rig handle? The land rig can handle uh, 6,500. So it's already comparable in terms of storage, but it's also a lot smaller. However, it's going to get a bit more expensive from here on. So we've got these side panels, which we need to work with. But we also need to get some resources and things in here, here as well. So since we don't want it to be reliant on anything, we need an RTG power core, which will provide power. 
which needs to be linked to a battery core. Well, doesn't even don't even really need much. We just need to make sure we have enough power for everything. Like one of these battery blocks is worth a total of 40 power when fully charged. So how's that going? Sorry, 80 power. Even. And two of those seems to be doing an admirable job. However, the RTG is not keeping pace. Tells me we need an additional RTG. Looks like that. Still not keeping pace. So three RTGs. The RTGs are going to make this a lot more costly for its size. 1,400. Yeah. How much is a rig? 900. So it's already much more expensive, and that is coming purely from the RTG power system. Oh well. Can't be helped, I suppose, can it? Let's go ahead and button this design up, because this is our new resource gathering drone. And I know it is... Apart from the RTGs, it is... Uh, not, very, not exactly inspired, is it? Let's see, square corners. You know what, I should probably provide at least some metal coating. Especially since I plan to just stick this on a random balloon for its actual altitude component. Don't worry, it's not going to... Well, it is going to drift around randomly. That's what's going to be part of its charm. It's going to be this idiot simple device that um, our poor crash-landed astronauty person has just slapped together to operate and gather material from this filthy, filthy m matter which, has, which we found ourselves on. So let's do it like that. Yeah, that, that looks suitably ramshackle. Let's use the um, remaining wood blocks to replace with additional resource storage. We can sort that out in a bit. 7,000. That's not too bad. Right. Air. We want a balloon deployer. We can tunnel that into the top of it slightly and deploy it. Yes, our resource platform is afloat. It looks... Looks like it's uh, not... the. <laughs> it's a work of craft, this. A work of sheer brilliance, yes. Except not really, it's just... It's just drifting there, basically. <laughs> it's not meant to do much of anything, must admit to that. Anyway, what we also need on this thing is... Since it's an actual mobile unit, we actually need AIs and things like that installed too. So we might want to elongate this ever so slightly. Yeah, I think making it a little bit longer would be a good idea. Deploy that. Get rid of the other one. Right, so we've got that. We're going to lift the entire platform up slightly. And that will just give me this. So I guess you could say this at the since we're on the initial stage, this is going to be more of a building focused thing. I do apologise if that's not quite what you're after, but eh. I seem to recall last time I took a spin at um, playing Ashes of the Empire, it took a bit of a similar bent, like having a, so a fair bit of building mixed in with other stuff, but early on it was also still very, very much building focused. Yeah, that looks okay. Not too shabby. What it also needs, though, is because, again, like, lack of resources right now, we need a dedicated... Dedicated spin? Yeah, is that the right one? Yes, Hellblade spin, dedicated. Which we will have here. With that, and it spins constantly at... Um... Always up motor drive. How do I ah I can't set I can't set a spin speed on it, unfortunately, so I need an ACB. Mm. Oh well, that'll that'll fit nice quite nicely there. So right, spin block. Go through the uh, thingy. Every input second. 
timer. That would be. Spin blocks. Sevitation speed to... Five. Look at me! I'm moving! <laughs> very, very badly. <sighs> Let's say it's 15. Wait, am I moving... I'm moving the wrong way. Of course I am. Oh wait, reverse. That's it. There we go. <laughs> so this thing is just happily wandering around. It goes to places and it even does things sometimes. Though that said, we also need to put in the rest of the construction before we have a problem. So AI mainframe and a card and slot. Again, we're just tucking all this in the top. So we can have a nav AI. Naval will do fine. So there we go. And we also need air, jets, jet thrusters, because we've got to steer this crate somehow. There we go. Make sure it's all enabled. Da -da -da. Yep, that's enabled. Right. So, our little drone has just wandered off outside our resource zone. But we're going to set it to control mode. Moving out. And you stay there. Looks like we really, because of how compact it is, we really need to turn down the. Uh, oops, we need to turn down the strength of the thrusters by a considerable margin. Order complete. Two and 0.2. So there we go. And then this little guy just floats around, happily scooping up material for us. So that we have a fine starting point for dealing with the uh, the filthy mutants and heretics that actually enjoy being on this stuff beneath us. Do I need set? I need set patrol. Pick them up and fly with please. Thank you. Moving out. Hmm. Is that still too strong? Not as such. <laughs> it just loves to wobble around there. Maybe a bit too much. Mm. Engine reserves are absolutely fine. It is just a bit unbalanced. But when it gets into position, it does quite happily sit there for the most part. So I'm okay with that. It's just steadily chewing up resources. Doing a fine job. How is the resource zone doing? The zone has zero material, so yep. This fiendish little thingy can quite happily absorb everything the zone has to offer. And as a result, I'm going to stash more resource storage everywhere I can in it. Just so that it can, you know, hold it all. And I think that that rocking, when it's forced to do some serious turning, is... It's part of the charm, because this is very makeshift craft, must admit. Very makeshift craft. It's not meant to do anything, it just sits there and harvests stuff. So, yeah. I think that's suitable. <laughs> Probably not the best design ever, but oh well. What you gonna do? Well, you can... Well, please don't dislike this video. <laughs> I, I have issues with that. Um, nah, you can let me know in the comments if you don't think this is a good design at all, but it'll do something. It does what I'm looking for, I should say. Though I think we also need to um, even up that as well, just so that it'll, it doesn't flop around quite as much when it's trying to move around. I know I said I was just going to leave it there, but nah. It, it was just interrupting with the um, harvesting a bit too much. Let's see, exhaust. Add some corner pipes to it. There we go. Just gotta just want to give this a bit of a dirty industrial kind of look to it as much as I can. That's the exhaust. That's the exhaust. It's a bit of decoration. 
like, aha! Hello there, dear friends! And, actually speaking of, we need the... I don't normally do that much about decoration, do I? Where's my best smoke generator? I'm actually going to replace a little bit of the resource storage capacity with that. Increase the smoke velocity. There we go. Yeah. That looks okay, I think. <laughs> just this little thing, just like, buzzing around, hanging from a balloon, quite happily harvesting. Admittedly, it's quite a bit more expensive than the platform it's going to replace, but we can't have everything, can we? It's, it's like 2,000 versus 750. But it fits the theme that I'm going for. So I am happy with this thing right now. So, uh, save the vehicle. Let's get started. Give me a... Uh, I need a new folder. New folder. FTD. Terraphobic. Just like that. Yes. FTD terraphobic. Confirmed. And... I don't know. Is this what, what to call this one? Last time I was, well, last time I played this, I was I threw things open for people just to help name things. Hmm. If you think I should, well, I'll listen. So, but right now I'll just call it the um, the dirt scraper because it just scrapes the dirt. But if if you have, would like to offer a better design, by all means, go right ahead. Just a cute little thing. I also forgot um, resource mode as well. Oops, resource mode. Dirt scraper. You do not like to keep material at all, and you're in group one. So these guys will eject material as much as possible, just to get rid of it all. It's like um, they don't want it. Yeah. Main base is all set to group one, just so it can accept that. You are ejecting material, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, you are. Main base, you're set to grab as much yeah. material as possible. You're set to reject it. You're set to... What do you What do you need? You need ammo. So keep... Keep high supplies of everything that you need on there. So there we go. Yeah. The land rig here can blow up. It's just using fuel right now. And the dirt scraper is very happy, just wandering around. And it will actually offload um, a little bit of excess power if something else needs it. But not enough to actually interfere with anything. I think that's good. So let's save that again. Right. Now, we can't, um, we can't call this um, episode done with just that. There is another vehicle required. It's going to be a really simple one as well. But it's going to be a bit better made than the dirt scraper, since I'm just keeping calling it that right now. We also need to get these guys out uh, at the other resource zones I've got control of as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Resource zone. Let's teleport to you. in a new dirt scraper. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I want to tell you to repair it, but there seems to be stuff going on. Oh, yeah. Pull out, repair. And I can't build anything just yet because we don't have anything to do that with. So, let's do that. We need a repair tentacle. There we go, that'll start getting it sorted out. And we'll also do the same down here, just to get the replacement yeah. going. Because we've got another 10 minutes, roughly, of this part, if I'm going to be doing this like I usually do. And that is enough time to get together the next stage, which is a resource transporter. 
seeing as we need a we need a way to get these resources back from these outposts to our central place. There we go. Actually, where am I? I should I should be using my own tools for this as well, shouldn't I? Yeah, just use my own tools to help out a bit. F7. Disabled. Oh, can I can I not build that? <laughs> I don't know. It, it's really cheap that, so it'll get sorted out, regardless. No problem. I just need to make sure that they're set to go to the right place. Are you done yet? Come on, little dirt scraper. Nope, you're still being put together. Okay. Let's go back to the central point and get our transport sorted out. Now, the big big draw of last time was I was trying to build all these little vehicles and things. Oh, just look at it just buzzing around up there. <laughs> I was trying to build um, little vehicles and things. Like, um, I built a little resource tractor kind of thing. Oops, no, that's not a thing. Build a new vehicle, if you would be so kind. So a little transport, I built tanks, and they, they, they worked pretty well. Um, then things got broken for a while. Things apparently have been fixed now, but I've not gone back to trying to do that. Two, three, four, is that long enough? I guess so. We don't need to go overboard on this, do we? Right, resources. Material store. Actually, we do need to have a central point, I think. Let's do that. So, once again, it's just like being put together out of junk bits and pieces. What I salvaged from this little outpost that I found myself on is the kind of theme I'm going for with this. So, I, 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 I like how the... Um, I don't know, maybe a little bit industrial, maybe a bit uh, steampunky kind of thing. Actually, no, let's not do those ones. Let's do it with the other ones. I want to stagger it so it's not just uniform, you know? So let's just get those extended outwards a bit. So a lot of resource storage capacity on this one. This holds 64,000. It's going to be a very unfortunate situation if we find ourselves actually needing that. The hatches point downwards, so that is all to the good. Um, and I guess we're going to... Let's use um, a metal beam back here as well. Just like that. Still kind of getting used to the new textures, even though they've been out for a while. Must admit. Downslope 3. Seeing as this is going to be the rear engine assembly. Uh, make it like that. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and get inverted triangles. We've got to have some kind of higher technology effect going on. So it looks like it's a bit more... A bit a bit more stuff has been contrived, at least a little. But it's going to have a huge jet to, for power. Just to run it around the place. So... Yeah, you can probably see what's going on here. This is not going to be a balloon craft, not like the um, the flying wonder up there. This is actually going to be a uh, thruster craft. At least that's the, the general plan. Let's see. Since it's a thruster craft, I can get it um, wandering around. Very high speed. I can have it self-correcting by um, doing the whole PID thing. Let's see, let's get um, flush jets. Like that, then ones at the back as well. So very, very simple, very basic, but it will work. As long as I make sure to give it enough power and enough juice to keep it going. So this is where some more bits and pieces start to come in. So resource RTGs. We do need some RTGs. I'm going to leave things exposed in the top section here. Because quite simply, you know, ease of access. It's still a junker. It's, it's still somewhat raw, somewhat unrefined. 
Give me some battery beams. I'll build the vital equipment into the actual structure of the uh, craft. So a bit like that. And we'll attach the engine underneath there. And we want the flywheel visible, so let's do that. Okay. And we need the PID setup, of course. So let's go and see. Downslope four. Downslope. Actually, let's go for the corner once again. So square corners like that. So downslope three. And um, I guess that means we're going with the narrowing that down a bit. So there we go. We've got a power source. We've got that stuff. We just need the PID sets to keep it operational. So I'm going to embed those into the um, top of the engine. Just like that. Let's see. Control. PIDs. Yep. Uh, this one will be purely for roll. Keep it nice and general. Max that out and predict 0.1 seconds ahead of us. This one also predicts 0.1, but this one does the pitch. And yes, those of you who know how to use PIDs, I know I'm not the best at setting these. I've never been good at setting these things. Um, this one's going to be for altitude. Um, again, fast response, no cancel. Test stimulus for 20 meters. Very low flying. Oh, altitude land. And as you can see, you can hear the jets immediately fired up. Um, but yeah, I'm also well aware that I am missing a few vital bits and pieces in the form of, you know, roll control. Might be a little bit needed there. Let's, um, actually, let's keep this straight, this one. Actually, no. Uh, let's let's slope this one underneath it, because why the hell not? Because I'm an idiot. That's why. <laughs> yeah. All right. There it goes. So kind of bolted onto the side. Right. NG weapon. NG pieces. I want a particle tube, which I'm going to be used just for decoration, and then air. Just um, stay straight up jets on either end of that, like so, and configure these these guys for the roll, so that this craft won't roll itself over. I've just given it a big jet because I want it to be a relatively fast mover, so let's uh, unlatch that and see how it goes. Uh, yeah, not too bad. It's having a bit of trouble because of the weight at the back there. So that's, um, yep, it's because I've put all that metal onto the back, as well as the big thruster. So it's usually a good idea in most of the craft, I think, to have a bit more counter thrust at the, at the back, just to help it out at least a little bit. But it's going to drift a little bit no matter what, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I'm not above, like, doing that, but this is also not, still not a very well-balanced craft, so it's just going to do that. <laughs> On the bright side, though, it's staying up quite nicely. Okay, let's continue. Caps lock it. Fuel engines, I want the exhaust once again. I'm going to keep using these to give it a bit of extra character kind of thing. But in this case, I'm actually going to use... Use it to put a guardrail around it. I think is might be a, a nice way to go about it. Yeah, a guardrail. Just like that. And just some straight pipes in between. Um, now we need a 3 and a 2. And a straight 3. So there we go. So we've got some guardrails on the sides. We need to put something in here. So I'm thinking like simple... Let's put in some more fuel engine pieces. Let's put in some radiators that. Not that it needs them, of course, but it's just for the appearances kind of thing. So yeah, that's looking okay. I guess a little bit of counter thrust would probably not be a miss for the rear thrusters, would it? 
<sighs> Fine, let's let's put in some counter thrust for the back to help it balance a bit more readily. It needs the extra power at the back, but at the same time, it's a tad unstable. Where's that PID? You'll count. You'll cancel out after like f five seconds. Try to work that out. Five seconds as well. There we go. It stabilised itself a little bit. Advanced engineering, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Control. Let's get this thing sorted out, because we are actually uh, running right up to the time limit that I've set myself for this. So we want a complex controller, of course. We want a control chair, which we'll put there. And we're going to get started with... Again, let's get some f fuel parts in here. Let's get um, exhaust pieces. In the form of straight pipe. A throughput and then a corner which will go straight into a couple of radiators again. Actually no that's not right. Uh, hmm. This is part of the reason why I don't do decorations. It can be a bit time consuming. <laughs> Just a little bit. Energy weapons? Uh, maybe. A bit, maybe a bit big. How does that? How does that go into um, a jet? It doesn't. Of course, it doesn't because I'm messing it up. Air, jets. Oh, that looks okay. Okay, right. So forward, yes. Reverse, yes. And. Spread. Forward, reverse, spread. And then, when we turn left, you're firing. When we turn right, you're not. When we turn right, you're firing. And when we turn left, you're not. So that's all good and dandy so far. However, um, we also don't want the ones on the outer edge to respond to the stop command either. So if it's turning it's gonna and it's trying to stop in place, it's gonna keep going. That seems like a good shout. And we're going to have three more thrusters at the front. Like that. So you respond to reverse and you also respond to turning that way. You respond to those like that. You ignore it if we're going forward. And you are just flat out a reverse thruster. So we've got um, no dedicated steering as it is, but that should be good. And latch it. And I want to teleport to this new thingy. I think, I think we've got. Yeah. Mm, the uh, slightly raised center of gravity on those is. A concern. But, yeah, nothing that can't be compensated for. So, yeah, we've actually got extra forward power because I've got the central mainline engine, which I need to key in as well. And we've got those side ones as well. So, right now, what's the... Um, I think maybe a little bit higher so it doesn't crash into that would be a good idea, but we're going to replace that soon enough anyway. What's our full speed? Hmm. Full speed is actually 40, that's not too bad. And we we corner at about 35 or so. Yeah, 36 when we're cornering. Our power reserve is slowly dipping. So we need more RTG power, but this thing is looking very much like we've got a transport craft on our hands. Because it, it wobbles a bit, it's definitely slapped together. It's a bit unstable. <laughs> Gotta admit, it's a bit unstable. But it feels okay. I kind of like it. Um, let's bury an RT a bigger RTG in the middle. Just, just to be sure about the power supply. 
And then this thing, because of its fair speed, can buzz around just get, grabbing resources and bringing them back to us. And that's the general plan for it. I think adjusting the... Yeah, when it, when it actually goes into full reverse, it's a bit unstable. And it does need a bit more altitude, but it does correct itself. It controls okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> I like it. Though again, I think I'm going to do what I did before and throw these open for names as well. Just because, you know, might as well be consistent in this thing. Right, for this thing to work, I just need to add a few more touches. So place prefab, let's get my handy dandy complex controller ACB set, which has not actually been affected by the ACB update, by the by. I am a, I know that, so I know that this will allow an AI to control this. We need an actual AI mainframe, which we're going to again follow our pattern of tucking into the craft. I'm going to actually patch it in underneath there. Card slots. Again we're unarmed, so. Naval AI, there we go. That's all you need. Jets available in air and water modes. Uh, I think uh, let's add, let's increase the cruise height to 30. I think that's what we need. Mm, let's say 40, just to be on the safe side. In case we encounter hilly terrain while this thing is spawned in. But this thing is going to go boom as soon as an enemy so much as uh, sneezes at it. So, you know. It's not going to be a very hardy construction, this thing. Now, where are we going to put smoke on this? I know. Let's put it... Uh, let's put some underneath ones. That's okay, right? I was looking in the right place, though. Wouldn't it? Uh, decorations. Here we go. Smoke generator. It's very smoky. Let, let's um, get this thing. Ooh, that's a bit big. <laughs> it's working as intended. <laughs> Almost. Well, the vents are all up the front there, so yeah, I guess that fits, kinda. Let's put it there. Sure. Um, could probably call this all smoky. 15, and we can decrease the size a little bit, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think it looks okay, but... Yeah, when it's in motion, it lo it's alright. Like, it's kind of coming from the front there, but... When it slows to a halt, it just, like, goes and just it fumigates where the driver sits on this thing. Not that it's meant to really have a driver, I suppose. Mm. Maybe it's better without the smoke. Yeah, let's go without the smoke on that one at least. I don't know. Clock its maximum speed again. And this is just um, that. So, the first part we've overrun slightly, but we have got a little harvester drone thing buzzing around. We've got an unstable resource transporter style craft here, which is all set up and ready to go, except for the resources, I almost forgot about that. Route 1, no priority, N um, keep 80% battery energy, so this will again share if it's needed anywhere else, but it, it only moves around resources and it's neutral in that regard, so it gets overridden by things like the, this uh, little drone, which forcibly feed it resources, and it gets overridden by the base itself or anywhere else that actually desires resources as well. So it's not going to carry any resources for its own sake, shall we say. Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right for what I want it to be. So, save this one as well. This is going to be a... I don't know. Uh, I, I guess just a material ferry. Again, 
go ahead and if you if you think um, you got a good name for it, go ahead and just let me know in the comments. But that'll work. So now I just need to get it set up. So you are going to be set to control mode. You go to here, followed by here. Moving out. So um, there, there. Then to moving out. There. Moving out. Then back to here. And moving out. There we go. I think that's moving out. Moving okay. out. Go to here, darn it. Yeah, as, as you, it's a bit unsteady, but it's doing the job. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out, moving out, moving out, moving out, moving out. Moving out. <laughs> Done it! I had this working before. Taking control map and fly with fleet. Waypoint. Uh, it, it is shift to... Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Oh, is it control? Oh, moving I've forgotten out. how to set moving the... Out. Right. I'm going to have to look this up because I'm out of time. I swear I did this like a few days ago and now I can't seem to do it. <laughs> Great. Anyway, the idea is just to have this thing patrolling and it'll ferry resources automatically between these points by itself, but yeah. Moving out. I'm, ju I'm just being a complete and utter, utter numpty, I think, at this point. Hold shift to give this moving out. Uh, moving come out. on. I want you to go moving over out. here. Then go moving to here. Out. Then go to moving here. Out. And then I want you to loop that. Come on, don't keep me lit. Moving out. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this has been Iron Mark 3. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show, and um, I hope you approve of me starting to do a new uh, thingy. Starting to do a new playthrough on From the Depths. I don't know where this is going to go, but we'll have to see, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and see you all some other time. While this thing flies steadily off to get resources. Yeah. Catch you all later. How fast are you even going? 36, yep, it's doing alright. Okay.